Dark Deception is first-person horror Pac-Man. Currently, it has eight levels that each have their own theme, ranging from evil roller skate nurse babes to, uh, these guys. Each level will have sections where you have to collect all the purple morbs to get the special rock to give to goth Miss Frizzle, because you're basically her errand boy. Many levels also have boss fights. You unlock powers as you go, such as speed up or magnet to collect all the morbs in the area, but the main speed category is replay, where you have all the powers unlocked. So that's what I always did. I've been speedrunning the whole game in one go. A terribly unforgiving two hours of being ripped apart by all sorts of dirty gimmicks, my own terrible choices, and bugs. Sometimes the bugs are funny too. This video will follow my personal best run, level by level. But, for each level, I'll briefly explain how the speedrun does it, and show off some mistakes or glitches from previous runs. Because it would not be the Dark Deception experience if you never saw any bullshit I dealt with on the way to getting my decent personal best. Monkey Business is the first and by far shortest level, requiring you only to get all the morbs and dip out, a task made far easier by the magnet. Which is honestly too bad because I love the monkey enemies. I think they're pretty underused. So, where's... <laughs> where's teleport? Ah! Uh, oh, bring the tab! I took the tablet down. <laughs> Bro, used every power. <laughs> you can't see which one's up. Crikey, you scared me. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh my god, it's okay. No! I can't believe it's already been three months. No, it's okay. Nothing like a little bit of monkeying around on the first split. Okay, that was pretty hot. But it's like... Saving time in the monkey split. Oh my god, that actually scared me so bad. Saving time in the monkey split is just so whatever. Also, chat, JMG rule DM me a picture of their fish. It was like, hey, Spiff, you can name my fish. I I, I said chum, and looks like chum, <laughs> looks like chum worked. So I have successfully named somebody's fish chum. I have high expectations of myself today. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Solid. And then what's my route back? There, that's what it is. Okay. That was a pretty good monkey, believers. Also, man, the sun just came out. My face is glistening. Nice. Elementary Evil has two morb collecting areas, teleporting Salad Fingers Girl, and the second buggiest boss fight in the game. Please go away! <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Where the intended strat is running around in circles, and randomly dying after the two minute fight is a coin flip. Unless you understand all the inner workings of the fight. Which of fucking course I didn't in my first few days of running the game. I hate this game. Dude, come on. I thought I cleared all the bombs. So it ended, the, the, the fight ended and I got teleported to the middle and I assume insta-killed by a bomb. That's, that's the run, chat. That's two minutes. Shout out to the Dark Deception speedrun community, by the way. I couldn't have finished a single run without their help. Wait, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> I 
I forgot something important. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, good. I thought I was gonna die to that. Nope, 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 nope. nope. <laughs> oh, I should have grabbed my coffee before I started this. Problem is, I spent so much time looking at the minimap and at my abilities and not like where I actually are, where I'm actually going. Okay, I should probably use an ability that prevents death. Whoa, I've actually never... I've never seen her be a risk there. Spiff, am I short? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I'm like 5'8", which I guess is kind of like average. No, I'm 5'9". I'm quite average. I wouldn't say you're quite average. Five, I think 5'9's... I don't know. Maybe I just have tall people around me. I went to a club once and like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm taller than some dudes. I'm shorter than some dudes. It's how she goes. I went to a club and the bathroom was just like full of six foot three guys. And I felt like a baby. All right, we're gonna chill on this side of things. Wow, <laughs> no. Wow, this boss fight truly sucks. <laughs> just teleport onto the stage. Yeah, let's do that. So, where on the stage? Do I just sit here the entire fight? No. <laughs> okay, where on the stage? Stand in the right corner. Got it. I see. Okay. Okay. This is what we're doing. All right. Thank you. That we're never doing that fight. I didn't mind doing it normally, but that's big, big no bueno. Yeah, the monkeys is super short. Looks like. No. <laughs> Whatever. Gotcha. Oh shoot. Ah, oh, double shoot. Hey girl, don't mind me. Just did a pretty bad magnet. All right, we're n I don't want to stun her this time because it makes the boss fight. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Makes the boss fight start a little bit late. But I will use that. God, I panicked. I thought that was her. Now I have this suboptimal path. I just saw red in my peripherals because I'm staring at the minimap because I still don't know the way. All right. Hello and goodbye. Why you, why you, why you moaning? I didn't stun you. Okay, whatever. This is scary. She like walks, yeah, she like takes a step towards me and then goes. All right, we're gonna go with Jewel Man's strat. We're not gonna hit the portals. We're gonna wait a second once the cutscene plays. The intended strat is just run around in circles. Yay, excellent. Another didn't go horribly wrong Agatha fight. Deadly Decadence is the mandatory horror game Weeping Angels level. The Mario boos, endos, except they whisper in your ear when you get too close. And this is the first level where dying is sometimes useful because it can respawn you closer to your goal. Intentional deaths are used a number of times past this point and for that purpose. Goth Frizz also says the exact same line every time you pass this spot. Watch your step. It's hard to run with a gaping hole in your foot. Indeed it is, Goth Frizz. Indeed it is. Never forget. Also, I have so many gaping holes in my foot. It's got two morb collection areas and an axe dodging fight? A great respite from old buggy Agatha. Okay, this place is such a ma maze. It's it's hard to know where to go for ideal ball acquisition. More of acquisition, not ball acquisition. Like, is this a good path to get all the morphs? Mm, I think it's time for uh, one of those. I saw that out of the corner of my eye, but it was too late. 
Mm, yeah, we're gonna do this. Up. Oh! Feck. Oh, he just spawned. <laughs> he spawned in. But I guess lesson learned. They fucking yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, I also yeah. Okay. So these guys, if you stun them, they stop being able to kill you. And I did stun him, except he didn't spawn in quick enough to be stunned. Oh my. That's a reset. Uh, if you don't know, Julian's the one making my TikToks now. Oh, you have a TikTok. Yeah, I never really used it. Didn't really care to, because I didn't want to put any time into it. But now I have Julian working on it. <laughs> Can you stop restarting right before non-believers win? That's the- I think the- the type of prediction we have- Oh yeah, that guy. God! <laughs> Fair enough, game. Update on any names for your fish? I don't know. I was dead sit on Trump. You can't get me to be creative twice in one day. <laughs> Toit! Yeah. Not a great end to the hedge maze. Alright, better than I thought, actually. Oh, 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 hey now. Let's not make any hasty moves. Let's not do anything we'll regret. Wow, thank you, game, for not letting me kill myself there. I actually really appreciate it. Because I really seem to want to. Spikes, like, shot up right in front of my face. Like, three times in a row. One more! You've done it. Now get Okay, let's also not scuff this. Let's go. The ducks are my favorite level. The smell of vision power is actually useful in discerning evil duck versus chill duck. And the morb collection's smooth pace is nice. They're spread out a lot so it isn't just magnet central. Speedrunning the ducks feels less like a desperate sprint praying I don't fluck up or break the game, and more like tactical planning to get all the orbs while avoiding sleeper agent squeakers and finishing in a spot where I can perfectly death warp to the next area. The boss fight also features a cool exploit where you can spin the boss's wheel while moving by double clicking and holding, which is super reminiscent of holding the wrong power nipple in Poppy, since the inputs are the same. A nice callback for me. Shit! I had to let go of the thing because I was getting fucked on by the thing! No! <laughs> I gotta get good at this boss fight. It occurred to me I couldn't use my teleport without letting go of the wheel. Fuck up. <laughs> Shit. Duck. You don't know where I am. I'm invisible, little ducky. You have no idea. Is ducks easy? I would say it's one of the easier levels, yeah. I mean, especially with all the powers. But it's got its difficulties. Yeah, the thing about the ducks level is like... There's a lot of danger, but there's enough time for my abilities to refill between the dangers. Most of the time. We are now encountering a situation where my abilities have not refilled. Okay, this guy will. Bro, you licked the wrong way. Dumb duck. Anybody here ever eat the rind of the watermelon? My parents were always, like, really harsh about finishing food. So I'd always, like, push the watermelon to the limit. But, I mean, at a certain point, there is no more watermelon to eat. 
There were no ducks here. How did I get angry duck music? Okay, I think I've got to get... Shit. Yeah, I got to get this guy first. Not a great route, I don't think. Nope. Bad. What's the worst fruit and why is it grapes? I love grapes. Worst fruit, dragon fruit. It's got a cool name, but that's all it's got going for it. I know, I know. Dragon fruit looks cool. It's got a cool name. It, it doesn't taste good. I'm sorry. Dragon fruit slaps if you can't taste it. Yeah. So, I mean, all fruit's pretty good. I don't have any qualms with any fruits. My real beef is with almonds. I've already talked about my problems with almonds. Figs suck ass? Yeah, but figs have, like, flavor at least. Oh, I love grapefruit. And what's that other one? Pomegranate. That's cool. Pomegranates look cool and they taste good. Kiwis, oh, 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 here's one that's gonna get some of you up in arms. I eat kiwis whole, and I love it. Same, what does the outtaste taste like? Okay, so here's the thing about kiwis. Like, when you dish them out with a spoon, you lose so much of the good stuff, because it, like, sticks to the outside. So the outside tastes like kiwis, just a little bit fuzzier. It's also so convenient because then you don't need a spoon or anything. You just eat the kiwi. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't eat hamsters. <laughs> You're not allowed to make that connection. <laughs> but it got hair? It's not that bad of hair. You just gotta you just gotta eat the hair. Clown Gang is the slowest level. Big maps, many morbs, reasonably easy to deal with the little clown dudes. This is the level where I could relax and talk to chat, instead of any head down, silent focus shit. <laughs> Are you getting the Play-Doh? The Play-Doh came in. I have all 18 glorious pounds of Play-Doh. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm not gonna eat it. Stop telling me to eat the 18 pounds of Play-Doh. How much Play-Doh did you guys eat as a kid? A lot? Yeah, I did like the taste of Play-Doh. The only eating incident I remember is like, my parents' closet felt so big, so I'd often hide there. It was like my favorite place to hide for hide and go seek. But that's also where I would take Play-Doh and, and sneak off to eat it. But I don't remember doing that too many times. I don't think I was like a, a cereal Play-Doh consumer. Hey, here's the question about erasers. Okay, this might be, I don't know, maybe you guys did this too. So erasers, like school erasers, they kind of have like clothes, right? Because of their like cardboard covering? Because like 75% of the eraser is covered. Did you guys ever put genitalia on the inside of your eraser's clothes? Not saying I did that, just uh, just curious. It just seemed so natural. I actually have no idea why. And like, I wasn't the first person to do it in my class. I didn't start it. I guess I'm admitting to it now, but just like everybody did it. You just like draw it in on pencil and then somebody would come along and like take off your What's eraser's cardboard. <laughs> somebody would come along and take off your eraser's cardboard and you'd be like, oh, <laughs> you're stripping my eraser. I thought I was the only one. Okay, you see, see chat, see somebody else did it. <laughs> Trash can ghost did it too. Okay, well, here, let's, let's tone it down a bit. Do you, did you at least put faces on your little eraser, guys? Okay, good, good, good. And I guess my school just took it a little bit further. You know, <laughs> it was only one run, but I can't help but associate this level with uh, talking about what we did to our like elementary school tools. Do you guys ever chew pens? Let's just fuck it. I'm gonna keep going. Did you ever have like the ink explode in your mouth? God, I hate that sentence so fucking much. Yeah, it definitely was an issue. I had a friend, it happened to him twice. You just look over and he's like covered in blue pen blood. But how? You just chew on it too much, I guess. I don't know. It ruptures the, the innards of the pen. 
I never got inked, no. I have broken pens and like had the ink splatter, but it never got over my face like it happened, like what happened to him. <laughs> the pen came in his mouth. Yeah, just didn't think like that back then. And also like, you know, little plastic yogurt containers? My mom stopped sending me spoons because I'd always lose her spoons. So I just started getting really, really good at like squeezing 100% of the yogurt out. No way, I activated it too early. Yikes. <laughs> No, that wasn't annoying. Such a time loss. A little bit, yeah. Oh, damn, I gotta pee. All right, we gotta PB so I can use the bathroom. Yeah, shut up, stupid car. God, you're loud. Is this literally a car level? No, there's a lot more to it. But yes, I'm currently being pursued by cars. Spief, if you eat too many prune cookies, you're gonna get old fast. Goosebumps in the 90s. I watched a video yesterday. It was like a Goosebumps rabbit hole video. Actually really well made, but it was like about all the unpublished Goosebumps books. There's been quite a few because there's been like a lot of licensing challenges throughout the years. So a number of Goosebumps books just never got published. I saw Goosebumps Iceberg. Yeah, it was somewhat similar to that, Bebop. But I guess specifically dealing with unpublished books. No, I'm not into ARGs. In fact, I barely know what they are. In fact, I learned that they exist because MatPat made like an apology video for like accidentally sending people to harass businesses, something along those lines. But no, I've never even participated in one, really. Let me know made a really good video on an ARG. <laughs> Is that what I'm supposed to say? Should I say ARG or should I say ARG like I'm a pirate? <laughs> ARG? <laughs> what if I just said ARG? I think that's kind of funny. Is this like scary Pac-Man? Yeah. Yeah, that's the conclusion that most people come to. And it's, uh, it's honestly a pretty good one. I hope I'm closing in on the last few here. I don't think I've missed any on the... Uh... Yeah, okay, we'll see how much I have left after this room and where they are. Oh, I even missed some on the track. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize. I, I thought I got all the ones on the track. Guess I turned around too early. I think that's the end, though. So I think we're in a pretty good spot. Biff, how do you feel that a barely out of high school teen is legally allowed onto work on people's teeth? <laughs> well, uh, you gotta learn somehow. It's funny, like, I got surgery on my Achilles tendon to repair it. And you know that, like, a bunch of rookie surgeons did it, did the job, because it's not a very hard surgery. I gotta learn somehow. Might as well be on me old tendon. Ah, stay away from me! Adios, children. No! Impossible! My dude, forgot to ask about the don't hug me, I'm scared news. I am hype. Yeah. Yeah, it is really exciting. Uh, that's like on the 12th, I believe? Hot. The hot nurse level is the worst. Bug-wise and gameplay-wise. If this is your favorite level, I'm sorry. But you probably like it for other reasons. Invisible enemies is a super cool mechanic that has never made me or anyone else angry before. Oh, great! Yeah, I'm invisible, but she still ran into me. Fantastic. You can easily skip triggers that will soft lock you if you don't go back for them. And the boss fight. Oh my god. The buggiest part of this game where sometimes hits just don't count and sometimes you just lose. And there is nothing like losing 10 minutes to spaghetti code an hour into a speed run. It's the best. All right, let's start with invisibility. Let's just go this way. 
Let's stun. Oh my god. <laughs> this has got to be like the furthest fucking gem there is. There it is. Fuck. <laughs> Don't mind me just losing like three minutes to one single gem. Whoopee! Man, that part of the map kind of looks like a hip bone. Damn. Stop! Hey, ladies. Don't mind me. I just have a deathly fear of women. Okay. Let's uh, not be as absolute shit at this part, shall we? Hmm? A bit less astral shit and a bit more astral pog. A bit less astral shit and a bit more astral... Uh-oh. <laughs> astral spitch. A bit more astral mint. Sure. A bit more astral gold split. Mm -hmm. That's what we should be. This is weird. What's going on? You seem to really enjoy pain, don't you? I hate this game so much. What was that? What happened? The ambulances weren't showing up. My teleport was not listening. And then I hit a girl and died. I'm so confused. <laughs> I thought, uh, uh, all right, whatever, whatever, whatever. Just, just hit the lady. And all's well at max ball. Oh, that's what happened. Oh, okay, well, I get it now. I had opened my teleport, this so when I left idea, clicked to it? swing, I simultaneously teleported into death. Sucks to learn these things an hour into a run, but I understand it now. Wow. Never actually survived being in that little cubby before. You know what? That's probably a positive death. I simply adore being hunted by scary invisible women. Wrong? My All right, chat. I gotta hold in. Wait, wait. There's one point where I think I could pee. When is that? Oh yeah, the two minutes in the bunny split. That's what I could pee. Yep. They can't hide from my smell of vision. They're simply too smelly. Wait a second. They're not here. You can't sneak that by me. So I went back to the trigger. Maybe die. Well, is that comforting? All right, let me get this morb and then I'll die. You seem to... All my morbs were saved. Somewhat of a crisis averted. I was like, this is going a little bit too smoothly. You seem to... This game is so scuffed. Yes. Yes. Oh lord, we got one on our ass. Oh, shoot. Like Third of a second off. And nice made it there. That's a good start, though. Actually, though, I'm invisible. Ooh, All right. <laughs> We're out of that. Hey, chat, you know where we are? We're at the boss fight. Nothing will go wrong in the boss fight. In all of my best Dark Deception runs, they'd be characterized by just one major fluck up. And this time, like many before it, was during the okay. nurse boss now fight. What could go wrong? Maybe just tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, a couple things. I don't get along with this boss fight very well. So I don't know if that canceled her getting hit. I think it may have, which is just a huge punch in the pants. But whatevs, I guess. Why does it work? Yeah, it must have gotten cancelled. And I'm down in ambulance. I swear. What the fuck is this game? Why is this game like this? Oh my god, I, that wasn't even me! They just stopped showing up! 
So that fight, I had one hit that didn't count, and then the ambulances stopped showing up. Pretty awesome. It didn't count because she was in her, like, supercharge. There can only be three ambulances on one lane. So if she just doesn't hit one side enough, like, you're just doomed. What a quirky detail. All right, let's do this. Last hit, pause champ. No, it didn't count! Ah! <laughs> what a terrible boss fight. Woo! Only lost like four minutes. At least the run's alive. True. Yes, I would like to get a run to the last two splits. The second half of the game. Whoa, whoa, hey, oh, whoa. Well, kid recovery. We didn't quite reach her with the stun. <laughs> Damn those nurses, man. The last two levels make up almost half the whole run. Because as Dark Deception has released more chapters, they've just gradually grown longer. The next one is the FNAF level, or sorry, Mascot Mayhem. I'm also a big fan of this level because it's genuinely pretty hard without the challenges being bugs and has cool skips and intentional deaths. Like the nurse level, you can skip triggers that risk soft locking you if you don't go back, but here they turn into a safety strat because often I would die at least once anyway. Did I... Did I do that thing again? If I did, I'm not even upset. I think I did. You know what? Fuck it. That's chill. The boss fight here feels truly skill-based because my regular mistakes were always my fault. Like I said, length really ramps up because this level has three more collecting areas with two boss fights. Except speedrunners use an exploit to get out of the second fight and just have to wait it out. Which is a uh, nice pee break for me. So, chat, I accidentally skipped spawning in the enemies. It means that I'll have to go back, but it means that this will be completely safe. So I gotta like go back and hit the trigger. And now we activate them and get our last three gems. Weird. <laughs> uh, worth maybe more of a safety thing. Okay, so I actually went on the other side of this gate, but if you just lift it up and leave, you could die to these dudes and respawn in the elevator. Woke ass! <laughs> Go. Ah, the piggy! Dude, it came out of nowhere. Okay, look, asshole. There's only five left. Four are fucking here. Where's the fifth? I hate leaving individual gems! No. Oh, boy. Oh, you can... <laughs> That's news to me. <laughs> they didn't let you do that in other levels. Oh, we were out! I liked that! Okay, okay. Be safe, be safe, be safe, be safe. Just be safe, just be safe. Don't just go for it. Oh, shit! <laughs> That's not good. The adrenaline running through my veins right now. I wanted to wait for it to start spinning so I could... Ah! Another run, another scuffed boss fight, it would seem. Seems pretty intense that the last two splits take up half the game. You know, compare Poppy Chapter 1 to Chapter 2. That's kind of what happened here. Like, they started with really simple, and then they started getting more and more complicated, so... The chapters just got a lot longer. Badass. Well, I never died. 
wasn't exactly clean. But I didn't die. Remember when I said nobody liked you? Well, they can't get enough of you here. That's pretty disturbing. You've been terminated. It was an intentional death. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Chat, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, it was a very intentional. I guess it's hard to tell if you don't know the rest. What the fuck? <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> that was crazy. I cannot believe I survived as long as I did. Yeah, same thing except uh, smarter this time. Oh! <laughs> all right next part what are we at with the last morb yeah boss is a little rough but i think that's more because i'm bad all right we've been here before Is that the mangle? Something like that. Oh, that one's down. Oh, fuck. It doesn't have a green light. It does. I'm just dumb. Shoot. Maybe if you lie still and bleed. And there she blows. Another boss mistake. Get over here. Thank God. Okay, now. If you're dead, who's going to eat all this terrible pizza? Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my fucking heart, thank you. <laughs> okay. They always start you facing the boss. All right. <laughs> I took a pee. <laughs> that was the very first fast pee. I thought I took a little while, to be honest. Just holding that in for a while. <laughs> One not gold. And it's, of course, needles. The last level is really long. Mummy, bear, exploding children, depots, take away your powers and make you do really long morb collecting sections is its name. That's what it shows on the level selection page. A name that represents its gameplay, long and unnecessary. Though some parts are pretty fun shows of skill since your powers get taken, I could do without the multiple 20 minute Pac-Man simulator areas. This level has three orb areas, two boss fights, multiple chases, and just so much walking. Also, I just find it hilarious that this is an intentional boss ability. <laughs> Turning T-posing into gameplay. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. We've been here before, believers. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, mission objective. Get Magnet as soon as possible. Oh, I see you. I see you. Oh, you can't hide from me. You got something I want, buddy. Wait, where'd he go? Oh my god, sneaky bitch. <laughs> Get over here. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. It's okay. I can do this better this time. Excuse me? Oh, thank you for not crashing. It's a pretty low bar, but <laughs> for a second there. <laughs> no! Oh, 
god. I don't know where. If only I had teleport. <laughs> That's the third level. That's the third. Okay, it's right here. All right, what fucking ever then. Death warp <laughs> for the win. Okay, I also learned a bit about this fight. You can avoid these punches by just sticking close to the ledge. Excellent. And then you kind of want to stay on the opposite of her here. So you can ch turn her around. Yeah. So... Boom. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, damn it, dude. That's... When is that gonna stop getting me? Okay, that rock's good. Okay, good. Now we just get mom to spawn there. Depose mama? Pose mama time. Oh, there's a bunch of teddy bears sticking out of her tummy. That's gross, man. Oh, it is. Yeah. I didn't realize just specifically teddy bears. Yeah, I did just notice. I thought it was guts. <laughs> I didn't realize that it was a bunch of teddy bears. Shouldn't, like, she blow absolutely sky high then when I blow her up once if she's full of literal bombs? Wait, what? 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 Watching me die. What? Too far? No. <laughs> what the hell? He switched things up this time. I knew he had RNG to him, but I've never seen him come from that direction before. Hopefully he doesn't do it again. Always doing it again. This should actually be easier, though. Because he's just already out of the way. This section is a meme. Honestly, if you take that section of the game, like that gem collecting section, where you first get the magnet, this level is probably my favorite. It's just so slow. So if you take the longest gem collecting section out, levels don't need multiple like 300 gem collection sections to be fun Shredded by a teddy bear. he was in the darkness so stop dying i agree stop being dead is right the teddy came out of the darkness i didn't react to him in time so now this is the part that i i think they could just not have it's like 10 minutes of walking around like chimera ant tunnels not a lot of exciting things to see. Take a right at the trap. Pleb spotted! They are all on my ass. There you go. Ten minutes of one texture. <laughs> yes. That is exactly what I what I mean. Tactical nuke! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, nah, that was not a tactical nuke. I'm sorry, chat. Yeah, okay. Biff went to pee and he's still probably gonna get a PB. No, 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 no. When I went to pee, <laughs> like I couldn't play that any faster. You have to wait during that part of the game. I didn't just sacrifice like two minutes to pee. Shit. I'm like deaf dead. Uh, it's so hard to get over there. I lost my flow. I was in the flow state. All right. Let's do this smoothly. And the boss fight smoothly. That's my two goals for this stage. So. Nice. Goal here is to hit Mom with rocks, but I'm gonna do all her phases at once. Which stops me from having to deal with some bullshit. So, quickly get the rock on. I don't think it was a great throw. There you go. No, it's good. Nice. That is how to do that fight. Good. And now we have this part. This is my favorite. 
It is not my favorite part. How did I not get you with that explosion? He must have been like just out of the max range and came zooming in. See, like if this was the only big gems part, that's cool. This part's, you know, that's nice to look at at least. At least it's not a dirt cave. Don't you dare touch that. <laughs> Is that <real>? Worth. <laughs> So I have to get the ring piece or I can't finish this section. And if you don't get them at the start, the teddies become like impossible to find. So now the tedious process of collecting all the morbs while not dying. Oh my God, they're converging on this location. I thought that killed me. I thought I was dead. Please unfreeze. Sometimes, game. I hate the way they walk when they can't see you. It's like they know that you're invisible and they, if they, they can accidentally walk into you. Find the last five morbs, please. Got all the shards. It's Probably all good death warp. Definitely a good one. Often when I finish the borbs, chat, I uh, I die to be reset back to the start of the level. It's quicker than walking. Okay, boss fight, and then that's it. Believers, you're pretty boned. <laughs> and then arms, and then ball, and then arms, and then arms. Now arms twice. The coolest looking ability. Look at how cool she looks. But yeah, in general, Dark Deception hasn't been a great game for the believers. Things tend to just happen. All right. Didn't fuck up the boss fight. I will freaking take that. I was worried it was going to be pretty nasty, but I think we'll be okay here. Not huge, but still motherfucking TV. The, the needles boss fight was bullshit, but that's just how she goes. And then I lost a lot of time in the dirt mounds, excuse me, but pretty damn good. I'll submit this one. I want to stress again just how valuable the speedrun community for this game was while running it. Jewelman and RNG Retro in particular helped me with so many run-ending glitches that otherwise would have made me quit. If you want to try speedrunning, I'd highly recommend trying Dark Deception runs. You can do one level or all of them, and the community support was awesome to see. I'll link their Discord in the description. I'm currently happy with my personal best, but I'll be back. See you later.